Okay. Hey, everybody. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I am going to do this geode. It's about a nine round. It's real big. And the bottom is never to be seen. Only the top on this this type of a mold. So what I have done is I am using <laughs> the holographic glitter. And it just doesn't want to zoom in. So this is Arteza holographic violet and some holographic pink mixed together. I didn't want it too pink, you know, so I thought I'd mix them. Looks real pretty. Then I'm going to use just a little bit of the Arteza pearl white in there for just a little contrast. Okay. I'm using Primal Pigments Chunky Prince Glitter. It's pretty. I hope this turns out pretty. And then I am going to be using the Real Gloss Shards. Okay. Very fine. And then I'm using my homemade, well, I took some of those mirror rocks. They were actually teal. And I made purple rocks with alcohol ink. I mixed turquoise and plum together and got that. And then I also made some for the middle from my cabochons, about the same color. Those ones you put in the pan, heat them up, hammer them real hard. <laughs> and I'm using pale amethyst mica pigment, mica powder. And Fantasy Purple Mica. I think I covered everything. I'm using the Premium Quality Clear Epoxy Resin from the Epoxy Resin Store. It's a super gloss clear coating casting resin. It's a general use. And it's very good for covering paintings, just about anything it's good for. Um, let's see. So, oh, and there's a coupon code in my description for our Arteza. And there's a coupon code in my description for the epoxy store. If you're ever interested in getting some resin and trying some geodes or or coasters or whatever or just covering your beautiful acrylic paintings so i think i covered everything and yeah we'll get started here we go
Okay. Hey guys. I am so delighted with this one. This is actually the first geode that I really love. Well, except for well, in this mold. This first time I really love it. My last one was like Royal Crown or something. <laughs> Um, I have one big geode on a piece of wood that I really love. But let's take a look. This turned out beautiful. Oh my gosh, I am in love with this one. Now, it might be just a little bit soft. So, of course, the bottom is not going to matter. And I'm just wearing gloves because, well, this is actually very tall in here. So it's kind of filled up. So if I was to put another top coat on top of this, it would like be going like this. And then I'd have to end up cutting the ends. And So I am going to put a top coat on this. But I'm going to put contact paper on it and just... Pour some pretty resin on it, nice clear resin. Real thin coat just to fill in a few bubble holes. Where are they? Well, they're very hard to see because they're so tiny, but you can kind of feel this glitter. Um, so yeah, I wanna just get one more nice little top coat. And just let it drain off real good so it's real thin. But you can do that with... With contact paper. Hold on. Oh my goodness. Oh, you can see right through there. Look at those stones too in there. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> so those are the bottoms, the way they look. Because the molds have these crazy textures. It's really nice and hard, actually. But uh, they're nice. Oh, let's look at this. So I love that middle. With those stones right there. And I'm so glad laying those shards down worked. That's cool in there. That's beautiful. Oh. I'm so thrilled with this one. So that's great. Look at my blue glove underneath. So it's a little transparent in there. Which is so cool. Oh. So I'm loving this one. Isn't that pretty? Finally, my glitter in sink. <laughs> so that's just really really a pretty one I love that too this just kind of gave it some pretty contrast mixing that pink that hol this holographic that's what I love about it anyway I made because I had a little extra let me make this it's a jewelry pendant. I'm going to put a little hook on there. Isn't that pretty? It's just going to go on a chain. So pretty. And uh, I made this one. By that time, my glitter was, or my resin was getting hard. 
though, because it was very indie one. I don't know about this one, but it's kind of neat how it's got half of it that amethyst and then half of it glitter. Yeah, that's something. I enjoyed this thoroughly. I will put a top coat for sure. Just pour some resin. Heat it up a little, go like this. Let it dry off real good so it's not thick. You know, so it's not covering. Cause I like that texture of the stones. You know? So that was very worth my time. Alrighty, have a good one. Thanks for watching again. Bye-bye now.